guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Man Gaming. It's a female on Twitter, the gaming drag. Today I'm coming back at you with a new Let's Play series on Midnight Wolf. That's right, one of my, uh, one of my lovely audience members suggested this to me, and, uh, I have to admit, I've never 100% been into the Star Fox fandom. I, I remember playing Star Fox 64 as a kid, but kind of where my general knowledge of Star Fox begins and ends, though, I gotta admit, I do have a thing for the characters. They are... You know, they got a lot of people into the furry fan, especially Fox and Wolf and Crystal and yeah. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right into this, shall we? I'm very interested in seeing how this unfolds. All right, Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Ooh, nice art, too. Great art. 6.30 p.m. I'll be waiting for you at Sheba Park at 10 p.m. It's about my bedtime. Don't be a wuss, pup. You said you wanted to be discreet. Just joking. I'll be there. Scout's honor. Woo. <laughs> Jesus Christ, why are they doing that? What? Nothing. Okay. Top or bottom? 7 p.m. Then 05 p.m. Where are you? Ugh. Squeeze my phone as the screen turns dark. I almost feel like smashing my phone into the ground. But I won't. Can't afford it. The cigarettes burns out. I grab another from my pocket, one left. A quick light. I give a deep inhale and exhale in desperation. Where's that damn fox? What was I thinking? He ain't gonna hook up with a mess like me. I mean, I'm trying. We're out of the crime business after the pardons. Peacetime suck for a merc, though. The lizard said I got the bod for cam shows, maybe. Heh. <laughs> I could always film it with him if he's okay with it. Then I'd have to share the proceeds. Did he say yes because I put him on the spot at the gym? No, he's a war hero. He's tougher than that. At least he can put up a pretty face. But that's why we're doing this, so we can see what's underneath. He's got a six-pack, I bet. Or maybe a soft gut. Flying's intense, but not much of a workout. He was at the gym, after all. God, why isn't he here yet? He can't be thinking like this before it even started. This is stupid. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. So he just lets out a roof. Okay. What you howling, wolf? I'm here. Oh my. Oh. Howdy, Fox. Took your time, didn't ya? He's looking fine, at least. Dress shirt and pants? I'm undre- I'm underdressed. Is that a whiff of apple cologne I sense in the air? Fox is being fancy tonight. Did your phone die or something? It kept it on silent. If I'm going on a, going on a date, I want to be focused on you. Always on point, I see. Can't leave the dangerous jobs to my team, after all. Yeesh, does he always think about work? But you've changed, Wolf. I can trust you. Everyone deserves a second chance. I promise not to hold you at ransom. Unless you want me to. God, I'm sounding like such a creep now. No wonder I can't keep a guy longer than one night stands. I don't want to mess this up. Got a lot of experience with that? I've had my share of hostage situations. Sometimes being tied up, sometimes I'm tying them. And it's up to me to save the day. For a price. Because it's the right thing to do. And, yeah, they pay me. Heh. <laughs> I never land a negotiator job. I'd probably shoot them both first. How about we take a walk around the park for a bit? Get to know each other a little. Doesn't this place close at 8 anyway? It does. You're a bad boy, pup. You're a bad influence. Fox chuckles and I give a smirk. So, let's take the pup on a walk of pleasure. The night is still young. I get up from my spotlight under the lamp and extend my hand to Fox. Came up with that yourself? I got it from a video game. He shakes my hand and steps up beside me. I take our first steps together. The fox is a bit windy. The night the fox is a bit windy. The night is a bit windy. The fox seems to handle it better than me. The jacket is more for riding than warmth. You know, it makes a lot of sense to meet up here. It was just the first thing that popped up when I searched for cruising spots. Aha! Sorry. I mean, it's kind of the point of the place. What do you mean? Sheba Park is supposed to be a place where people meet up. Legends say a soldier from an old war left their partner behind. The soldier never returned, but the dog came back to the train station every day for him until they died. Kinda touching. It's about loyalty at the very end and beyond. And now it's a place where guys hook up for the night. Uh, sorry, too much? I'll have to get used to it, but we can always strive to be better. You just had a, you just had a bad hand is all. My hand is full of junk. But I can sneak an ace sometimes if no one looks too hard. What's your current hand? Two aces. One up my sleeve? I take Fox's hand. And one in my hand. 
I'd say you got a chance at the spot. Chance at the pot. If everyone else was crap. Don't sell yourself short, Wolf. I'm not that good at poker anyway. This was a good enough excuse to get out of a card game tonight. They won't question what I'm up to. I figured he would let go at this point, but he seems to be into it. Second, y'all. Water time. Oh, man. Sneaky fox. They're good friends, but they don't need to know about this. Not yet, anyway. For a team of mercenaries, this fox sure likes to do things on his own. My guys are more like co-workers than friends. Barely. But I even know when I need their help. We work together, but that's all. The lizard doesn't bother me unless we got a job. The cat at least tries to get friendly with me. It's not bringing in a new girl every night. And the pig? The less I say about the pig, the better. That would get on your nerves if you have to live together. Why do you think I'm out here? You're the best company I've had in a while. Aw, you're welcome, Wolf. We go quiet for a moment as we walk out of the park and into the red light district. You know, I never really thought about what you do outside the cockpit. What? You think I'd be walking around in uniform while buying bread and milk at the groceries? I mean, I didn't expect you to see you in the gym so soon after getting your pardons. I figured you would keep a low profile after... Why should I? I'm a free dog, after all. Did you really have to corner me in the locker room to ask me out, though? You were avoiding me the entire time I was there. I had to break the ice somehow. I could tell you were into it. Well, you're not wrong. The sweat was kind of much, but I was also into it? Really, now? Maybe I should come over right after a workout. All that sweat just for you. No, you're fine. You smell fine, too. Heh. <laughs> Seems there's a lot he doesn't know about himself, either. Relax, pup. I take plenty of showers, too. Outside of being a space pirate, I'm just a regular guy just like you. A lot of guys down on their luck think this is some glorious career path. To me, it was just another job. One on a different side of the war. But I could pay my bills. You never considered joining the Starfleet? Pup, I tried. How do you think I learned to fly? It was supposed to be my path to a good life. What happened? Maybe I'll tell you after a few drinks. I'll hold you to that, Wolf. Isn't that where we're going now? No, actually. I figured we'd do something fun first. Did you plan anything else other than this walk? Please, Fox. This ain't my first rodeo. I always got a plan. This ain't my first rodeo. I don't have a plan. The bar? Nah, too early. Karaoke? Don't even know what songs he's into. Bowling? RC racing? What is all this shit? Crap, we're in the middle of the street for a while now trying to find something good. At least I got something to look at. Um, All these flashing lights are going to blind my eye. Ah, oh, fuck it. I point my finger in a random direction. There. Fox instantly turns his head to where I'm pointing. The Star Dragon Arcade? The arcade? Yeah, you're young. You play video games, right? Froggy is the gamer of our team, and if he's not flying or fixing, he'll be babbling... He'll be blabbing on and on about raids and dungeons in his MMOs. Easier than real raids, I bet. Eh, it's not really my thing. Pay a monthly fee to rage at teenagers? I wasn't trained to withstand torture. I was, though. Not willingly, of course, just years of experience. Oh. Sorry you had to go through that. I think the worst one was when I was in the drunk tank and they didn't even get me a glass of water. Well, as long as you're with me, I'll keep the heat I'll keep the heat off you. Here, <laughs> thanks, pup. So, we're going in there, right? Yeah. The door opens for us as I step inside. I'm immediately assaulted by sounds of video games and cheap pizza. It's late at night, but there's still a bunch of people here playing on the machines. Fox seems to be okay with this, though. He walks up to the kiosk ahead of me, figuring out how... Figuring out... Figuring out how we play anything here. Doesn't look like there's anything like cards or bracelets you gotta scan. Second, y'all. Water time. Fox soon walks back to me with the coins in his hands. So, this is one of those old school arcades with tokens, like really old school. It even gives out actual tickets. That's even before my pop's time. Did they rig all these machines to take them too? Seems to be the case. I can see some classic stuff over in that corner over there. Now let's go there first. Fox cuts the handful of tokens in half for my share. I count them up. Just ten? Total scam. Eight credits for a token. Ooh, she's... I'll pay you back. Don't worry about it. Let's just have some fun. We walk around the arcade looking at anything cool enough to try. It's mostly just a bunch of mobile games you get on a phone, but on a bigger screen. The fox stops at one section that perks his ears. The retro corner, huh? There's a bunch of cabinets for some games I remember back when I pickpocketed chits to play. Dragon Hard 2. At Astra. At Astra. <laughs> remember the Cooper. Wow, these are older than I thought. I barely heard about these ones. Oh, here this one looks cool. Chrono Crux 3? 
Yeah, I remember playing this one when I was in fight school. You're, you, you like light gun games, right? Unlike real guns, they shoot lights instead of lasers. Uh, holstered onto the machines like looks like revolvers. Now, those are absolutely ancient. Must have been a quick fix when the actual guns broke. So you played this game when you should have been studying, eh? Only when my dad passed. Before that, I was just another dogfighter in training. Hey, you know when you kept saying I'd see my dad? Never mind that. That was just the heat of the moment, that's all. Sure, sure. I never talked to you about your dad. He's not that special, but I'll tell you more about him someday. I'll hold you to it. Fox inserts a few tokens into the machines. Player one ready. You joining in? I slam the button down. Player two ready. Let's do this. Ooh, that's nice art. The timer starts ticking and we start shooting. You gotta step on a pedal to get out of the cover and get back in when someone tries to shoot you. Which is, well, everyone. But only certain targets actually hit you. Bang, bang, bang. Reload. Bang. Huh, you're a pretty good shot with only one eye. I can fly just as good, pup. Duck. I take a hit while Fox managed to dodge the shot in time. Shit. We're not done yet, Wolf. I step on the pedal again and continue the fight. Stage one is a breeze, but it seems the management ranked up the difficulty after. I stepped off the pedal that time. Heh. <laughs> good, good, pup. Shit. I took a hit soon after Fox, but didn't spend any extra credits. Hope we don't have to waste any more money on this. We're getting tickets for this, right? No. So this place really is a scam. Hey, I'm having fun. Fair, Fox. We're at the boss now. 60 seconds on the clock. If we lose, we can go play something else that gives out prizes. It's fine. Just trying to get our money's worth. Fox saved all his ammo for this, and I'm out of everything except my basic pistol. rat a ta 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 Bang, bang, ah! One hit and I'm dead already? This game sucks. Come on, Wolf, we're almost there! No way, I'm not even gonna get my name on the high score. The ten second countdown ends my game. It doesn't stop Fox from facing this jumping Wolverine on his own. Heh. <laughs> he doesn't give up, does he? I watch him clear the stage. He's hopping back and forth like his life depended on it. He beat the boss, but he used up all his guns and is on his one is on his, on his one hit left. He didn't last long in stage three. Whew! Guess I'm done too. You seem pretty pleased with yourself. I don't give up easily. I know when to give up a fight when it doesn't go my way. You have to, or you die. But this fox here? When we fought, he was on his own. Four against one. Yet he beat all of us without a sweat. How do you do it, pup? Do what? You just keep fighting against all the odds. Can't really say. My dad always told me to never give up, trust my instincts, and it's stuck with me ever since. Huh. The only thing I remember from my dad was to get out of the house while he was getting drunk. We didn't get anything out of that game, though. I want to get some prize. I want to get some prize with the rest of these tokens. Well, let's take a look around. There has to be a few games of prizes. I'll win you a spider ring. Take All right, water time. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. An engagement ring, pup? Why, it's so sudden. We chuckle and continue to walk around the arcade. Fox tries his hand at a few quickfire games. I don't think the machines would dispense actual paper tickets. It'd be so easy to forge. Yes, the mighty space pirate wolf using his skills to pillage children's video games. Neither of us can get out of this mindset even in peacetime, it seems. You gonna try anything, wolf? Fox returned with a few meters of tickets wrapped around his neck. He could get a plastic sword with that much dough. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I should, right? I take a look around with my one good eye. To be honest, there really isn't much impressing me. I don't know. Nothing really screams out to me. Point me to something cool. Well, Froggy told me there was a new game released the other day. I saw it around the corner here. You're the leader, pup. Show me the way. Fox leads me to a newer machine. I did see a lot of people crowding this one earlier in the night. Just died down now. It's all the rage, so this is our chance to give it a try if you want. Wolf's Wrath? They really make a game about our battles? Hey, we really needed the royalties. I heard it was fun, at least. We better make a choice now, because there's a line forming behind us. Well, sure. Sure. I'll give it a shot. I pop a few tokens into the slot, and the machine springs back to life. I grab onto the single button and joystick. Let me at him. Oh. Oh! So this, okay, Wolf's Wrath. So this is an actual little game. Touch left to move and shoot. Okay, tough. That's right to dodge, okay? Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh man, that's so cool. Gotta 
damages parts. Oh man. Gotta beat the boss, gotta beat the boss. Oh, that's so cool, guys. Oh my god, this is so awesome. I mean, you don't really see this much in visual novels. Little mini games. That's pretty unusual. Absolutely welcome, though. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Gotta get him. Gotta get him. Beat him. Yes, I got it. Perfect. I don't remember having a head that big. It took some creative liberties. Total realism that doesn't make for a fun game, you know. It was Froggy's idea, in case this mercenary business doesn't work out. Just still add on the fame, I see. When times get tough, you know. I know that feel. Hold on, Wolf. I got tickets. I want to at least get something to get something with them. How many is that? 100? 200? We'll find out in a minute. We return back to the kiosk. Does anyone even work here? Because it's all automated. Fox inserts his tickets into a slot and starts counting up his loot. It's actually taking a while. I take a step outside to clear my nose out of all the cheesy musk. Oof. Chick. I light the cig in my light the cig to my mouth. A few puffs that give out a sigh of relief. I was worrying too much. This is going just fine. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye